to another classic Doctor Who action figure review. Today I am going to be reviewing the latest classic set, which is Thine in Front of Me, the Three Doctors Collector's Set. This set cons consists of three figures. One which is considered to be a dog toy. First of all, I'd like to say the background you get with this is wonderful, although you do have to kind of tear it apart to get the figures out, um, which is a shame. There's two jail guards in the background there, which is it's really cool. It's 3D. Um, this here, back here, is the compartment where um, Joe Grant's other arms are stored. I will get onto that later. So let's review the figures. Um, now first off, I'll start with the jail guard because there really isn't a lot to this. Um, it's another rotorcast. We've all seen these before now. You can stick your finger in there and wiggle it about. Um, yeah, we've seen these before. We've seen it with uh, the Master's TARDIS, um, the Fenderline, uh, Sontaran spaceship, uh, Sontaran scout ship, kind of. Um, other Master Tardises. So that's nothing new. Um, I did watch the uh, I did watch the Three Doctors the other day, and I have to say I wish it this was a little more orange. Um, it looks rather red to me with also a few splashes of green. But if you shove a light up its arse you can see that it is um, made of orange plastic um, especially on the head um, and it does look quite... It, it does look pretty awesome. So it has been made of orange plastic it just doesn't look that good really. Um, the claw here, uh, that is a uh, see-through. You can see through there pretty much and you can see through the body kind of if you put a light on it. Um, but yeah, it just your basic rotorcast figure thing. Um, articulation the claw, which uh, creates the explosions, moves up and down, and is on a swivel, but it really doesn't move that well. Um, yeah, that's it, really. Um, I did put this in front of my dog to see how he would respond. Um, well, let's say he sniffed it. Found out it reeks of rotocast plastic and walked away. Next, we'll go on to the figure which we have been waiting for longer than Rory Brigadier Alistair Gordon Lethbridge Stewart. It's awesome, really, to say the least. The detail on this figure is fantastic. You can really see it does look like him. He's got his nice uni um, uniform on here. He's got his hat. Um, the head sculpt is fantastic. There's loads of detail on his jacket with badges and belts and straps on there. Uh, he's got his tie and his shirt. Um, further down, you can see coat is brilliant. Um, his legs are just, uh, just, I'll get the light on it here, they're just green really, they're just a dark green. Alright, you can kind of see it better. Um, 
it doesn't really look the same on camera as it does in the flesh. It's it's a lighter green than that. Um, but it's really nice. He has his gloves on. He's got the uh, the gun here, which is fantastically detailed. Um, it's uh, really is just brilliant really articulation for this figure um, the head can do a 360 I wouldn't recommend doing it though because it can scratch off the paint sometimes his arms can do a 360 at the shoulder 360 at the biceps bend at the elbow 360 at the wrist 360 at the waist, the legs go backwards and forwards, in and out. His legs are hindered by the coat though. Um, 360 at the thighs, bend at the knee and no ankle articulation. But this figure is just brilliant. Oh, he also has ball joints. I didn't see them before. Okay, he has ball joints. Uh, this is brilliant, really. This is probably the highlight of the set for me. Next, we'll go on to another fantastic figure, um, which is Joe Grant. Um, the detail is brilliant on these. Uh, it really does have a good likeness of Katie Manning. She does have a bit of a weird smile on. That That's not always a good thing. Especially when you know that is sitting on your shelf looking at you whilst you sleep. Um, hair's really well detailed, it's really nice. The coat's her fur coat, really nice. It really does resemble a costume from the Three Doctors really bloody well. Um, <clears throat> her top with the white stripes on at really nice. Um, they are actually moulded, those marks there. Um, on her hands she has a lot of rings. I don't remember I don't remember that many. Uh, yeah, I don't really remember any at all. That could just be me not paying attention. Um, further down we've got her boots which are really well get the light out again. Really well detailed. Um, they are really nice. There we go, she's got her tights on there. Uh, they look quite orange on camera. That's probably just the light. Um, they're not that bad. Well, they're kind of a tan brown. They're kind of tan colour really. Um, but yeah, this figure is brilliant. She does also have a um, a feature, I guess. Um, as I said earlier, um, she has some spare arms behind here. Um, I'm sorry, I'm knocked her over now. Um, this is one thing that many people were wondering about um, it was about a removable coat whether it was or you know what was going on with the arms basically what you can do is you can take these arms off the kind of a pain in the ass to put in these arms for her coat because her coat kind of gets in the way uh, you can take off her coat here and put in these other arms. So here is Jo with her other arms on, uh, which as you can see do not have the coat um, pieces on her arms. Um, it's quite it's quite hard to get these these arms in because of a coat really, and because you know they're a bit fatter than the other ones because they have the bits of the coat on. 
anyway, um, she does look really, really cool with these on, with these arms on as well. The only thing I don't like, um, which is pretty much inevitable, is her hair kind of floats above her shoulders. Not not too bad, I guess. I mean, you can look at it from this angle far away. Uh, you can't really tell that much. Um, but yeah, articulation. Um, without a coat, her head can do a 360. Um, her arms, well these arms anyway, can uh, move really well at the biceps and do a 360 on the shoulder. These ones, not so much. Um, ugh. ooh, that didn't sound good, but it's okay. 360 at the biceps. Oh, God, I hate asking about with this articulation. There we are, it's all good. 360 at the elbow. Oh, it feels really flimsy. Not going to. You can probably get it to do a 360 the wrist. Yes, you can. 360 at the wrist there. Oh, don't fiddle about with the articulation too much. Well, that sounds wrong. 360 at the waist. Yeah. Um, her legs can kind of go backwards and forwards and in and out. Not much. 360 at the thighs. And bend at the knee. So that's it for Joe. So overall, um, what do I think about this set? It is a brilliant set. Um, definitely worth the £25. I mean, this is fantastic. So, overall, what do I think about this set? Um, it's absolutely fantastic. Definitely worth the £25. Definitely go and pick this up as soon as you can. Uh, you're getting some great figures with this set. Um, you're getting the Brigadier Joe Grant figure. Uh, and also Gel Guard, who is pretty cool. He looks... He, he does look quite good with your... Uh, with Omega. So yeah, definitely, definitely pick this set up. It's brilliant. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in my next review, which I don't know what that will be. <laughs>